I said, you don't want a desk, Alice. You want something to pull a room together. Your, your living room sofa is a hide-a-bed. For God's sake, replace that. But I like this desk. It was interesting. 1930s tubular steel Bauhaus design. A bit banged up, but the real thing, not cheap. No way I could afford it. I bought it for her. No way am I going to let you do that for me. Are you kidding? <laughs> she objected, but I could see how badly she wanted it. I didn't know what I would do with it. I just knew that if it was in my house and I was sitting at it, I would do something. <laughs> But still, I wasn't going to just let her buy it for me. I don't, I, why do I want okay, to pipe down and let me bargain? I haggled with Arthur and George and got them down to a reasonable number. We put the desk in the back of her station wagon. The hatch wouldn't close all the way, but we secured it with twine and we drove the two hours back to Columbus like that. This desk cost $300. So in, in 1976, that was a fortune. By comparison, we were paying Merle 175 to paint the house. And that was a stretch for us. It was bananas. I told her I insisted that we would pay her back. She just shrugged and waved it off. I didn't know what that meant. Was it shut up about it, it's done, or was it I could pay her back, even though I didn't know how I would possibly do that. I was kind of too embarrassed to pursue it. I figured, I rationalized it really, that she must have family money. I did have family money. <laughs> but still, Jesus, a $300 antique desk? Doug worked on two filing cabinets and a door. We set the desk up in the corner of her living room. The room looked much worse with the desk in it. 